Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, our Nepsi blown fuse indication system, and this is this will be an overview of how the system works. Uh, we're showing you right here an installed fuse in, in typical fashion. Uh, two bales that close on the fuse and secure it. Uh, you'll notice that this mechanism here that is on the bottom side of the fuse. That is the actual blown fuse detection system. And the fuse has to po point, the label on the fuse has to point towards this mechanism here. Uh, sometimes they're mounted on top. In this case, we're mounted at the bottom. Therefore, the uh, label of the fuse has to point to uh, the mechanism. Uh, it consists of a plunger mounted on a bracket a fiber that wraps around, and on the back side there's a micro switch. We'll, we'll show you that. Uh, you can see the plunger here, and what happens when the fuse operates, there's a, a red anodized aluminum plunger will pop out of the fuse and depress this actuator. And we'll go to the other side and show you what happens over here. Okay. So this is the back side of that actuator, and there's a micro switch that clips onto a bracket. And as you operate the plunger, or the fuse operates the plunger, you can, you can hear the micro switch transfer, and also there's a red flag that appears in the window here. And You need to make sure that that's operating freely. There's no kinks in the line. And when you operate this plunger, you can hear the switch transfer. Okay. So typically the switch is connected uh, in a normally closed configuration, which would be the two outside terminals of the micro switch. And uh, the reason for that is we usually run uh, a series circuit and there's uh, voltage applied to one terminal. And when the uh, switch operates, it opens the circuit. Uh, that being the case, you need to be aware that there could be voltage on either of these terminals at any time. Uh, make sure that uh, you disconnect the source when you're working on the system. Uh, Anything else, Paul, you want to go over? No, only that there's another video that talks about adjusting the micro switch if it's jarred out of place. That's right. it. So we can show you here that there, this uh, plastic piece has uh, ears with grooves in them that engage the bracket. And right now, this is the way it should be. It's secure, and uh, the micro switch operates properly. All right, that's good.